everyone. My name is Paul. And today I will like to talk about crew resource management. And how the sixth generation of CRM threat and error management is implemented. So join me in this journey, please. An undesired aircraft state is an aircraft deviation or incorrect configuration associated with a clear reduction in safety margins. The aircraft has been placed in a situation that jeopardizes safety of flight. An undesired aircraft state generally results from errors in position, speed, heading, or configuration. What is threat management? There are two aspects to threat management. One is recognizing that a threat exists while coming up with a strategy to deal with the threat so that it does not continue to reduce safety margins or contribute to an error. Error management is a mitigation or reduction in the seriousness of the outcome. It is important to have resist and resolve filters or defense mechanisms so it becomes consequential to safety. And by applying these filters, it improves strategies or countermeasures to identify and manage both internal and external threats. This is the second part of the model. When the errors occur, there's a resist and resolve aspect. The resist does things that already exist within the system to protect against errors, and the resolve is when the human corrects the error before it leads to an unwanted consequence. In the field of aviation, it is important to note that threats and errors are part of everyday aviation operations that must be managed by flight crews since both threats and errors carry the potential to generate undesired aircraft states, in which it is the last opportunity to avoid an unsafe outcome. Developing contingency management plans, such as proactively discussing strategies to deal with threats, monitoring and cross-checking, and adopting a philosophy for continual leadership, inquiry, and workload management. Some practical examples of these best practices are a thorough walk around during pre-flight to uncover possible mechanical error, clarifying an altitude clearance to reduce the odds of an altitude deviation, briefing the cabin crew of the acceptable time and reasons for an interruption, thus reducing the likelihood of mistakes at critical times during the flight, or loading extra fuel when the destination airport's weather is close to weather minimums to allow extra time if a delay is encountered. Adhering to these practices provides the groundwork such that once a threat is recognized, the crew is well prepared to deal with it. Threat management provides the most proactive option to maintain margins of safety in flight operations. A threat is the result of a condition or situation that comes at the crew while an error is a consequence of crew action and comes from the crew. These errors can be spontaneous, caused by a momentary slip or lapse in judgment, or they can be induced by a known threat. For example, an ATC interruption during taxi might cause the flight crew to miss the trim setting for takeoff or the errors may be more deliberate. The flight crew may disregard an SOP because they are in a hurry. For example, an unstable approach may be the result of the crew flying a fast approach in order to make up time. If an error occurs, it is essential that it is recognized as soon as possible and is dealt with in a safe and appropriate manner. <laughs>